guy's evaluating his hand. You know, just pain. What? I'm at least abusive. -y. You wouldn't abusive? I don't know. You want to preserve the health on that? I mean, yeah. nothing. He, everything he puts out is going to die, right? Let's just figure that—that's a fact. Sure. You wouldn't want to say... abusive and arcane I... missiles, and then go face. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's bold. Yeah. But you see why, right? I see why, but no, but aren't you're still saving the coin for the pit fighter, so you still don't want to frostbolt ping next turn. Although, oh, oh man, I'll leave this up to you. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah. It really isn't. Tempo. It really isn't the worst thing I've ever heard, and I've heard some pretty bad stuff from you. So this is this is good. Excellent. I love it. Yeah, it just works out with uh, mm -hmm. with our turn. Yep, because really now we can frost a uh, fro forgotten torch, and uh, if something goes really wrong, we can frost bolt and then like trade the two one or forgotten torch and trade the two one. Yeah, and then we coin out the pit fighter. There we go, forgotten torch. Looks pretty good. Yep, and then Do we can flame lance. Oh my gosh! Right? Oh, we gotta good. play to our outs. This is not a late game deck. I hope no one bought it when I said this was a late game deck. This is a face deck. This is an well, aggro uh, control not, face deck. It, it's it's aggro control with a bit more flexibility than mm -hmm. than just pure aggro, right? Don't have excavated evil. Oh, good. Good, good, good. So he, I know he has no lower kinds of minions, which means he doesn't have much of a choice. Uh, That's fine. He can kill it. He can kill it all he wants. Still can't kill off his uh, Venture Co. Doesn't have a board clear where he would have used it. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Thirteen health. Oh wow, he doesn't even have anything to play. I thought he'd have something to play. Stacks. I will boom. And I should have been this. I kill it? I think you just kill it. Or... No, you just kill it. I was like, or you just drop the Scarab? Yeah, the, the thing to drop would be the Scarab. Right. But, but then you're basically like, look, you're not going to heal it, right? So then he your could. Scarab will I mean, get it. And if he, if he does heal it, he would, what, drop a two drop? And then we would get, like, insane value, you know? Yeah. Up to you. All right. This is up to you, man. Let's go for the cooler pick. I love it. All right. Just just putting him in a tough spot. I, I definitely think this think that this puts pressure on. Right. It's like mm -hmm. my play where I put down the Crusader. It's yep. it's clever and it should work. Mm -hmm. Because he really doesn't want to heal unless he has a two drop to coin out. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Because, like, you know, then we ping the 1 1, drop the like, swamp ooze. What does he do? Yep. <laughs> Never ask exactly that question, but. Yeah, we still do that. We don't need to play the Bloodsaw Raider. I mean, sorry, do we just play the Raider? Right, right, right. So you ping. Because if he and heals, then... he, what, he drops a two drop? Do we really care? We don't care. No. 
Flame juggler? Yeah, I would just flame juggler here. Let's see what he's got. Was it a play to not play the Anub Anubar so the Shadow Pan stays? Then he just kills the Shadow Pan. There's no... Like, is he not... So, he still has the 1-1 out there. It's still going to kill something. Okay, so he just drew a 3, right? Yep. So, what are you thinking of right here? I think... I mean, so there's an option to do something crazy with, like, Gadgetzan and Undercity. But I think I just coined Pillager. I think here is where you can make a squeeze play, a pressure play. Um, and th I think this comes just from your read so far. What did he do on turn two? He pinged. He so pinged. He doesn't have a two. He doesn't have a two. He played the jeweled scarab, right? That And then, so what does he have now? He has a three, right? One of those cards is a three. So if he doesn't have a two, and if he pings next turn, he's yeah. out. Play the pit snake, undercity valiant the one one, go face with the two three. This is where Pit Snake is at its most valuable. If we could potentially take... Now look, he can top deck a 2, and it's still not that bad for us, because we could still maybe coin Kodo, right? He yep. pings here. We have a read that this could be terrible for him. Okay, this is fine. Like, whatever, right? 